today from U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. It can certainly get loud inside this building. And just a few moments ago, when the Vikings were introduced, it was downright shaking in here. They're set for football as the Vikings get ready to do battle with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaughan, and Charles, we have a run. Well, the defense did their job. They didn't allow any points on the opening drive. Now, second drive of the game, first for this offense, and what can they do with their go around? That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. A gain of 14. First down, Green Bay. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he's going to be met at about the 43. A gain of three, second down. Brought him down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. On second and seven, Rodgers hits his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 28. 16 yards, a first down. First down, Packers. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. Jones on the run for Green Bay. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. A two-yard gain on the play. We're scoreless after one. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. He's got Adams on the hookup. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 12-yard line. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Rodgers now on first down. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. A 12-yard touchdown grab as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. And correct me if I'm...
tight game here, but this offense does have the lead. Decent amount of time on the clock, and the defense has all three timeouts. So can the offense manage things and milk this clock away? And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Roger. Brandon Carr there to make the stop. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run for it. Jones. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes his forward for about six. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. They'll likely put an end to this thing. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. The ball carrier. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Again, it's Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. Marr able to put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. Vikings 13. So it's all over, a Green Bay victory. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books, going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us, all these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for Green Bay, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Dick.
incredible. Yeah, came for the dollars, call it basketball. Uh, can I get the dash? Can I catch me broke? Ooh, can I get the dash? Can I catch me broke? Uh, your whole team is no competition. Boy, I get it by myself, it's a solo mission. Uh, running up the charts, I'm a fool, dog. Turn the whole field to a schoolyard. But the students ain't eating round here. I'm the goat, little man, and I made it loud and